welcome to Johan's RC Garage. I'm so glad you showed up. Thank you. Well, today we're going to be talking about my new charger, because my old one decided to die. Very sad. I've been using this one for years. It was a hand-me-down from an old friend. Very sad to see it go. But on to bigger and better things. We got ourselves the new Toolkit RC M8S Multifunctional Charger. Not only does this charge batteries, like these brand new CH CNHL 5003S 65C Discharge 3-cell batteries I just picked up from China Hobby Line. Uh, also got this charger from them. Very quick shipping, very happy with them. Uh, unfortunately, these ones did come with EC5s. I don't use EC5s at the moment, so I had to put on my XT90s. Very impressed with these batteries. They have 10-gauge wire on them. That's great. Look, these balance leads are nice and long. Compared to a gold bat battery, which I've been using gold bats for a long time. And it's a little bit longer than that. This does use 12-gauge wire, but this is only a 50C battery. This is 65. I got bigger gauge wire. That's great. But that's not what we're here to talk about today. I've done plenty of talking about batteries. We're going to talk about chargers. So this one here, not only will it charge, it will also measure. Measure what? Well, it'll measure the internal resistance of the batteries themselves. It will also measure the pulse width modula modulation, uh, PWM, uh, PPM, and SBUS. And it will also act as a power supply. So the power you put into it, you can also, it has a buck or a step up. So you can, you know, put in power and then put out power. More on that later. Now it also, uh, the input voltage, you can run it anywhere from 7 volts up to 30 volts. Now, generally, I just use my 12 volt power supply that I converted from this old uh, server power supply. This is nothing new. Uh, I didn't invent it. I just followed what everybody else did on the internet and wired it up. You know, did the little, there's a, uh, a resistor right in here that I had to wire up. Yeah, real simple. Those are fun to make. I used to make ones out of home computer power supplies. Most took a lot more work. This is much easier. Anyhow, I can get another one of these, wire them in series, and get 24 volts out of it. Therefore, putting 24 volts into this and getting more out of this charger. So, hopefully soon in the future, I'm going to pick up another one of these. This one here in the U.S. from our power, uh, they do put out 900 watts, so that's a lot of power. Let's check this thing out, man. Check this out. 400 watts, 2.4 inch TFT, full color, multifunction language. Watch your language. <laughs> Anyhow. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Okay. Wow, look at that. That's nice. Such a small charger. This thing puts out 400 watts. Got sporting two cooling fans there. I know on the inside of this, there's a nice big heat sink in there. Uh, it does use XT60s for the input and for the output leads. So, I did go ahead and solder myself up an XT60 lead here for my power supply. So, we can go ahead and plug this thing in. Good morning. Oh, see the fans kicked on for a second there. That's nice. Nice bright display. This is nicer than any charger I've ever had. What else do we get in the box here? I know it doesn't come with any leads. Nope. Just comes with... Oh, look at that. USB 3.0. USB 3.0. So what this will do, this will plug in here. And then this will plug into your computer for updates. Um, maybe we can access some other settings. I don't know. That would be pretty cool. Look at this manual. Look at this manual. Oh my goodness. It's so tiny. This manual works for the M8 and the M8S. Gives us all the technical details. It's even a QR code there. What's back here? Oh, yep. That's where the good stuff is. That's where you'll find the truth. Can you read that? I wish I could. Fascinating. Yeah, so. Let you get a good look at that. You can pause and read that if you need to. Yeah. There's also a watt meter. It'll measure the internal resistance of the batteries. Man, this thing will do a lot. So this will take place of your servo tester. This will take place of all your little things like like this. It'll do the same thing this does. It balances. So back in the day when I had my Onyx charger, I had to buy this Blinky card. Anybody remember Blinky cards? <laughs> this thing is such a joke. Don't need those anymore. So yeah, I'm looking... Looking... I'm looking. Look at this thing like, man, wish I would have had this years ago. Right? All right, let's see. Where is my... Here we go. My trusty balance board. This thing's been modified. Okay. Now, how's this work? Hmm. It says negative. To me, those all look like negative and one positive. Is that how that works? 
It does just pop right in there. How about this way? It doesn't really want to go that way, so yeah. We'll go all the way over this way. Because we're using a 6S balance board. And we're going to take our XT60. Put that in there. And this balance board, when I, when I purchased it originally, all it had was Dean's connectors. I did modify it. Uh, put some Traxxas connectors on there. And now I'm down the road to where I'm using XT90. So I can still charge the little batteries I have with those. I can still charge the other batteries I have with those. And I just kind of adapt it as I go. This thing's been heavily modified. Uh, it's not going to burn out. It's got solid wire inside there. Um, anyhow, that's not what we're here to talk about, Johan. We're going to talk about charging these new CNH CNHL batteries. Let's check this out, buddy. Yeah. Let's plug this in. And plug this in here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's take another one. Now, we're just doing this on the bench. Don't charge your batteries in the house, of course. I'm not in the house. I'm in the garage. And I'm not going to be charging this tonight because I'm going to go to bed soon. Whoa, that's just time out on me? Oh, that's cool. Just woke right back up when I touched it. Very cool. Go like so. Let's see. Let's bring this over here. Something like this. Pick a slot, any slot. Let's go. Right there. Okay. You know, I don't like how that's set up. There. That, that's, that's better for me. Charger. And what are we gonna do here? Lipo, press OK to add a battery, press OK to hold to delete a battery. Oh. So we're gonna go lipo. Twelve point six and eight. So battery type lipo and voltage four point two volts. Ah, charge current. Do 10 amps. Oh my goodness. I don't think it's going to do 18 amps. That would be insane. Wow. Well, I'm not ready to go that high yet. Um, I, I, I'm not going to get too greedy. Let's just go with 10 amps. Cell count. Let's just do auto. Lipo. Storage charge, discharge, charge. Let's go. Charge. Okay. Very nice. Look at that. So my power source is putting out 12.14 volts, so 18 seconds, 25 degrees Celsius, 11.6 volts, 10.13 amps, uh, 117.1 watts, we got 80, 92 milliamp hours. Looks like the batteries are pretty close, 388, 388, 387, 389, 389, 387. So the batteries were storage charged, that's good. Look at that. What does that mean? Very nice. I am impressed so far. Um, thanks to everybody else who had done videos on this. The videos that I watched encouraged me to get this. So yeah, tune in for more Johan's RC Garage for videos like this. Other videos with more excitement. I'm excited to get these out in the uh, speed slash. It's going to be fun. So if you stuck around and watched, thank you so much. You're a saint. Have a beautiful rest of your day. Live life with love. Peace out. Oh, please hit the like button. Thumbs up, thumbs down, subscribe, notifications, whatever. You know the drill. YouTube. Just getting started out, so any support is much appreciated. Yeah, thanks. Love you all. Peace out.